Hello and welcome to Nick in UK. Today we're going to have a look at the PyMag waterfall and some setup tips that will give you a, a helping hand. It's important to spend a few moments just reading the instruction manual just to help familiarise yourself with the product. Your PyMag waterfall will come pre-assembled and the PyMag stones located underneath the unit. Once you've unpacked the PyMag waterfall, the first thing to arrange is to pre-soak the filter and the two pre-filters. Here we're using a bowl. Pour some water into the bottom. Then undo the cap, remove the two pre-filters, replace the cap, and then place upright into the jug. Then pour some more water. just to the level of the silicon under the cap. With the two pre-filters, just place these down the sides. These may tend to bobble a little bit, but after a while that will settle down. While you're pre-soaking, you can do this for a minimum of two hours. And just keep an eye on the water level. If you need to refill, again, just make sure that it stays below the cap. You can pre-soak overnight. If you do so, again, just before you go to bed, make sure the water level is with the cap, and that will be great for you overnight. While this is pre-soaking, it's a great time to disassemble the product and just rinse the inside of each of the units. Just taking care that when rinsing the lower tank you do not submerge the silver section as this contains the LED with the battery for the filter um, components. This can obviously be wiped with a damp cloth just to remove any dust. Now that the filter has been pre-soaked and you've rinsed the equipment out, first thing you can do is pre-assemble the stones. Make sure that the stones are placed on the shelf and do not fall into the uh, channel at the bottom of the supply tank. This is where the filter fits and the water runs through to the tap. Once your stones are in place, we can start to assemble the unit. Place the middle section over the top of the supply tank. The fill tank on top. And with the filter, make sure that your two pre-filters have been squeezed for any excess water. Then you can place them on top of the filter column. Cap onto the top, and then this filter fits nicely in to the hole of the top tank. Push gently to make sure that the seal is firm so that you do not have water leaking into the bottom tank. At this point, you're now ready to flush the system. Fill the top tank with tap water. Let the filtration process take the water into the bottom tank. And then to disperse, lift the tap up. This will enable the water to run continually out into a jug. 
and do this process a couple of times or at least until the water is clear. After flushing the unit, the last action to do is to set the LED reader. This monitors the amount of litres through the system and will show you when it's time to change the filter. To set this, you have a black button on the front. Press this and keep your finger on the button for between 5 and 10 seconds. You will notice a green flashing light that will change to a solid green light and then off. Your system is now ready to use. Cheers and enjoy your Pimag water.